Yo, this is Laura Kell from the All School Sessions here at the Hip Hop Guys Tour at Irving Plaza in New York City. I'm talking to the lovely Miss Moni Love. How you doing? I'm great. I'm actually, I need to calm down now because I just got off stage and like I hyped myself all the way up and it's like I'm actually on stage performing but I'm kind of like acting like I'm a spectator at the same time so I really didn't plan on doing all that dancing up there but I was feeling it and I felt like I was in the video. So, so <laughs> Well, you're, you're definitely killing it, representing the ladies here at the Hip Hop Gods. Uh, just tell me a little bit about how you ended up on this tour. Well, honestly, I, I, I've told this story, and, and it needs to be told over and over and over again just to show you how surreal things are and how things can come together full circle. When I was 17 years old, I wrote fan mail to Public Enemy to the Def Jam address on the back of the vinyl cover. And um, they answered my mail. And so therefore, I have been an official uh, international baby sister of Public Enemy since I was 16 turning 17. So here I am, 42 years old, and for the first time on tour with Public Enemy. But bigger than that, when Chuck uh, hit me up and, and had a conversation with me about the Hip Hop Gods Tour Fest review and the entire movement, the platform, the stage, and the meaning behind the entire thing, um, I was like, I'm with it. Anything that is going to uh, contribute and revitalize and almost reintroduce the significance of the art and the culture of hip hop and, and, and basically do something and say something to show that it doesn't stop at a certain point, it continues. Anything that I can do towards that, I'm doing it. We got Flav here. Flav, say something. Later. Something, G. Word up. That's how we doing. Money.